These are the materials that go into styropore concrete. The styrofoam comes in nine cubic foot bags. Perlite is another lightweight material that replaces up to one half the builder's sand in my mix. These are bags of Portland cement. Pool coat material is for the coquina finish. I always use a particle mask for protection when working in enclosed areas. The concrete is mixed in my mixer, then placed in a wheelbarrow and poured into my sandboxes or molds. Some days I make bowl shapes, concrete bases that become the bottoms of my fountain pieces. Other times I make biscuit-like rocks, drop biscuit style, like making cookies on a baking sheet. Here's a pile of bases and stones to choose from. Here I am hand mixing mortar, getting ready to cement some stones in place. Now I'm trying to place stones to build the framework of an infinity fountain, or placing stones and a PVC pipe for a very small fountain. And then there's vacuuming. I do a lot of vacuuming up in between the different stages to keep things clean as I go. This is the wet area of my studio. The plastic covered ramp simulates the pool deck where a large poolside fountain will be created. Here's what that fountain will look like finished, first in my shop and then where it's designed for, at home beside the client's pool. The 2x4s at right angles simulate the screen enclosure. I position three bases, one rectangular and two that are oblong in shape that will become the rivers. Next I make base pedestals to raise the middle piece up and then the back piece, giving them some elevation. I arrange some of my large biscuit-like rocks to form the framework of the lower part of the upper piece. I mortar them together and then chink or fill all the voids, brushing everything smooth as I go. Notice I place thin plastic on top so that the lid that I'm forming, which is actually the bottom of the top piece, will remain separate. At the same time, the front of the piece is formed by the stones you see supported by dowels. I start the river piece simultaneously. The large stone at the top will be the back of the top piece. Notice all my handprints from when I patted out the stone in my sandbox, wearing gloves of course. I add planter inserts into which the client can place foliage as I work my way down to the lower piece, chinking and brushing as I go then back up to the top piece to build the secondary waterfalls within it. Now is the stage when I embed in a layer of mortar two inch fiberglass cloth over all the laid up stones for strength so that no cracks ever develop between them. Next I put in the 12 volt lights and work on the lips where the water will flow from piece to piece. A one half inch layer of sand and thin plastic goes under the lips, again to keep the lips separate. I begin working on the oblong adjacent planter to the side, at the same time that I'm mortaring in the lights and the lids that will hide the lights, again with the thin plastic in between for separation. Next I build a temporary plastic pool at the bottom on my shop floor to simulate the client's swimming pool. In it I place a large pump so that I can run the water in the fountain for the first time. Always exciting. To check the flow and make adjustments if necessary. Then I apply the coquina stone veneer that is made from the marsite type pool finish material. Sometimes with concrete dyes integrated for different colors and on top, lots of hand-thrown coquina shell. 
This is the most labor intensive step. As the finish is setting, I have to come back several times to jiggle all the pieces so that they don't stick together. The next day, I brush off and vacuum up the loose shell. The fountain works perfectly and is ready to deliver. On location, the pieces go through the screen door on a dolly and are stacked in place, ready to turn the pump on the first time. To my client, it's an instant fountain, seemingly. But now you know all the steps and all the work that goes on behind the scenes to create a patio paradise fountain. Here's an even larger fountain with two rivers, two waterfalls into the pool.